What's going on guys, Mist here and welcome back to SGMU's the number one reliable news source for all your Trigroups mobile needs. So apparently we have finally gotten the 4.7 update notes. We finally got it from Cellsci all over the um, SGM forums and here it is. As mentioned in our 2021 preview, a big focus for this year is improving existing systems, existing systems and features in Trigroups mobile. You'll find some of these improvements in this update with many more yet to come later in the year. Of course, we couldn't resist including some brand new content too. We're done for all the juicy details. So apparently we have a store redesign. So basically, this is the, the brand new store that they decided to come uh, to come off or um, to like go with. So up until now, the store could be a little overwhelming if several offers had all been triggered simultaneously. These new tabs will highlight giveaways and offers and make it easier to find whatever offer you may be looking for. Please note that initially this new store will be only be available to some players so don't be alarmed if you see the old store because it will be made more widely available at a later date. Um, I just want to say the new, you know, the new store is very nice if I say so myself. Like, I love the new redesign apparently. Um, and also they have like a they have like a separate they have like a separate tab for the crown the theory subscription which is the crown jewels. We got some daily deals, we got some limited offers, we got the featured one for the single de Mayo event and I don't know what the bank vault is. I think that's where you buy cannabis coins for Theonite. But whatever. Here it is, the long-awaited Cinco de Mayo event is finally happening on obviously May 5 because it's Cinco de Mayo. You know, but <clears throat> the Vivian Festa Prize Fight event will return this year, featuring Bandera Relics again. So this is basically the contents for the Bandera Relics. We got Gangrene, Triple Threat, Blood Drive, Thomas Hero, Weekend Warrior, Time Thief. We got some diamonds for Fire Branded, Green Band, and Summer Salt. So um, pretty nice if you ask me. I'm still confused on why did they like include two light diamond fighters onto the bandera relics instead of having like a uh, an air fighter like uh like the brand new diamond double that is air i mean they sh they could have put that on the green band but whatever all right but yeah the viva la fiesta price pr price fight event will start on may 5th and run for four days this event requires an not again all right but this event requires an air, light, and firefighter on your team, so players with deep diverse collections will really get to shine. Like other special event prize fights, there are huge rewards available including tons of Bandera relics. I honestly hate this requirement, like the air, light, and fire. I literally hate it! Um, because I'm never going to use- I'm not ever going to use my dark fighters, which is uh, Trishich or Trishik. Um, Lovecrafted and Biox Sources, I can't use them because they're dark. Like they're, they're dark elements. We only need is air, light, and fire. One air, one light, one fire, which is it is annoying. But yeah, <clears throat> that's that's uh, that's basically the requirements. And um, yeah, that's, that's about it for the um, Viva La Fiesta price event. event. So next one is Holodeck Hazards. So Holodeck Hazards made its debut in 4.6 as a special limited time event. And during this run, we received lots of feedback about the mode. And as promised, we made some adjustments for it in 4.7. In 4.6, Holodeck was only available on the weekend and refreshed every hour. While this version of the mode was really popular and well received, we also noticed a couple of recurring points of feedback. Severing po several popular events already run on weekends, adding in Holodeck, Holodeck on top of those events made weekends a bit overcrowded. Having the event refresh regularly throughout the day was very stressful, with many players feeling that they had to play the mode with every refresh opportunity or feel like they were missing out. To address these issues, uh, to address these issues we adjusted all Holodeck to be available once a day, every day. This was the sh this will still allow players to gain large amounts of XP quickly without an overt amount of stress and it should fit into everyone's schedule. A sharp work a sharp work is never done though, but and we expect Stanley to make further adjustments and additions into mode in future items. Okay. Opinions here. I have a debatable opinion on this whole deck this new updated holodeck. I hate this update. 
Like, don't get me wrong, I love XP, and Hollow Deck Hazards is not a thing, but there are a lot of cons here. Um, I think I mentioned this on my Twitter comment, or my Twitter reply, and um, on past streams as well, but mainly this, this update is full of cons than pros. One, if you do it one day, um, if you do it like once a day, every day, there's one key factor here: double XP. You're literally going to waste, uh, you're literally going to waste like one XP, right? You're literally going to waste one double XP for just five nodes, right? And that's not efficient, and that's literally a waste. Because what are you going to do with the rest of the double XP? What if, um, what if you're like, um, you don't have any good price fights? Like, t like it's like double. For example, like the price fight is like pain wheel or double or mis misfortune. It's hard to like farm with those, uh, with those modifiers in your price fights. And um, yeah, sure, like the master peacock origin story is still there, but. It's not a good. It's not a good source for XP if your peacock or if you're like, if you're like fighters are already like um, level forty at gold or level fifty at diamond because it doesn't level you up. Well, whole deck, whole deck like gives you at least guaranteed one hundred thousand XP on I think in the in the first few nodes like in the in the last few nodes. Even like, there's also a chance of having like a 200,000 XP, like when having like double, um, like having like double XP boost. So yeah, that's basically a waste, like in my opinion, like it's basically a waste of uh, double XP boosts if you keep doing this like once a day, every day. So, so there, they have like three things to do here. One, if they're going to stick to once a day, every day, or like they're going to do it like every day. Make sure it's like twice a day, thrice, three times a day, or like five times. Like there's like a maximum. That's like a limit on doing hold deck. For example, like, um, for example, like you're gonna do like five times per day. That's that's basically enough. Or um, there's another thing here. Um, weekend weekends. You can like still do weekends for hold deck, right? This um. But if going for every hour is enough, is like too much. You can just dial it back and just go for like three hours. Like every three hours, the um, the whole deck will it will um, will refresh. Like the nodes will refresh every three hours. That's still good. Or like two hours if that's too much. Um, or if they're all, if they're going to like keep the once a day part every single day, add more nodes. That's basically it. I'm just like stating my opinions here. I'm just like stating feedback onto the like the game. Like, I uh, Hall Deck Hazards has a great potential. Like literally, Hall Deck Hazards uh, has great potential to like um, farm XP for like late uh, mid to late game players. And uh, apparently, it's um, you know um, having like drawbacks because of the once a day every day thing. So yeah, this is my opinion. Um, comment down below. What is your guys' opinion on Hall Deck Hazard as well? Is it the same as me? Do you agree with the change of having only once a day? Comment down below. I really want to know your uh, your guys' opinion on that. So uh, yeah, <clears throat> that's basically Hall Deck Hazards. Um, next one, we got Checkmate Incision. Uh, I re I saw this on the Twitter thread. Um, I saw this on like Twitter. Valentine can finally. Um, Use her blockbuster in the air. Like we can, she can now use checkmate position in the air, which is have we can have like good combo potential with uh, with other blockbusters as well, which is the, which is nice. So as Skullgirls has grown, we've been pushing the technical limits of each new character added to the roster. You can really see with uh, you can really see this with Annie, with all the tools, including a whole host of special moves and blockbusters that can be used in the air. In the first of many updates of earlier characters, Valentine's checkmate position has been upgraded to allow players to use it in the air. Try squeezing it into your air juggles or after a large autonomy to see what new combo rules you can find. Yeah, it is basically a great idea. 
because uh, um, largely Tony Me doesn't have like good combo potential with other blockbusters and stuff. So this is a great step. Um, uh, I'm not gonna watch it because I already watch it. Um, but I'll I'll um, I'll post it on the description down below if you guys want to check it out. We got some economy changes. Creature of habit, binding cold, and prison plumage has all been added to the standard relics. Sweet. Other changes. We added flame colors on real Reaper's palette. Oh, I just the flame colors. Fix an issue when hall deck hazards and a curse experiments will not properly refresh after the event times expired. Oh yeah, about that. Um, they're not like properly refreshing. You just have to like refresh the game every time you want like you want them to be refreshed. Fix some issues when players could get stuck in the tutorial. Fix an issue when held remaining points will not be counted correctly in rift battles. Fix an issue when fighters will not be properly released from deployments. Fix an issue when the in-game chat window could be cut off on the home screen. Updated some characters home stages to be more narratively accurate. When you view a fighter in your collection, their home stage will be used as a backdrop. Okay. Um, in combat, we can fix an issue when biting cold's pinwheel. This is literally just biting cold. So they change like the change like biting cold would ignore on death signature abilities. Also basically um biting cold is not like uh built in hex anymore. It doesn't have like built in hex. So they wouldn't they wouldn't ignore like on death signature abilities anymore. So basically when when like biting cold like kills immortal fiber, they take damage now. Fix an issue when Biting Cold's Revive Block Essay would not trigger if the opponent was defeated with a throw. Fix an issue when Biting Cold's Revive Block Essay would not trigger if the opponent revived instantly after being defeated. Fix an issue when Clear Modifier could revive fighters after they have been defeated with a Catastrophe Cannon Omega. Fix an issue when the fight could get stuck on the Super Flash state if Peacock was defeated and revived while activating a Shadow of a Pending Doom. And fix an issue when Stitch Tinting would become permanent if fighters were defeated during your own block turn. Dude! Oh, that's actually sad because with the stage thing it will become permanent. That's actually pretty nice. Like, uh, I would, I love that. Like, I love that like feature. Like, um, after someone died, um, it it just went black and white or something or uh, other colors. That's actually pretty nice. Like, a good feature. But all right, I guess it's a bug. There's been unconfirmed reports that some new fighters have snuck into this update. Apparently, these new variants will only appear as AI-controlled opponents for now. So, if you encounter any of these fighters, make sure to take a screenshot and let us know. Oh, so basically, they're gonna add new f new variants here. Nice. So, um, we might see some um, we might see some Skullgirls 2E variants being played from AI. Sweet. Nice. So, um. <clears throat> Yeah, um, that's actually uh, that's actually very very creative to them because um, you might you might encounter them on the hall of the hazards, um, and yeah, we might see some new variants on uh, on like on like on the four point seven update, mainly like the Skullgirls mobile uh, no the Skullgirls second encore variants. They might like show here having like a you know crossover or something. But yeah, here it is. Here is the end of the um, here's the end of the EV forum. So if you guys like the video and if you guys um, want some of these Skullgirls Mobile news, be sure to click that like button down below and why not subscribe as well for more Skullgirls Mobile content. I also stream on Twitch if you guys don't know my overlay um, basically on Twitch. Yeah, so I stream on Twitch now, HTTPS, Twitch.tv slash MissedSGM. Give it a follow if you guys want to like um, catch me doing like Skullgirls mobile streams or other other games. So uh, yeah, so this is going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And this is SGM News, the number one reliable news source for all your Skullgirls mobile needs. And yeah, it's going to be it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.